Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode 20 of Project Ozone. Today we're going to make some awakened draconium, then make some draconic armor with it, and a draconic staff of power. Great weapon. We're also going to make some green heart canisters as well. So first off, in case I didn't show you this before, I can't remember whether I did or not. One, two, three, four. And to charge up the draconium blocks, it's, it's already charging because of the wireless charger. I just put it in here, which is the vibrant capacitor bank, and it charges them up. Oops, plate. Now we're going to come over here. I have already got uh, four charged draconium blocks with one piece of TNT on top of them and I've done that three times because I have three hearts. Oh, I went back and killed the dragon one more time because I needed three hearts if I wanted to do the staff of power as well. Okay, so we put down one heart there. Oops, I know what I forgot to do. Uh, bubbles. You need to go in here for now. That's my ring of magnetization. It's picking them up as I drop them. Drop one there. Drop one there. And drop one there. And we come back over with our flint and steel. We light the TNT. And we come back over to these, get over top of it again, and I drop 16 draconic cores on top. Uh, there would be a lot more particle effects, but I've got mine set on minimal, so you're not seeing as much here. They're going to explode again and turn into awakened draconium. I still got my... no I don't. Let's get that out. Okay, and we'll vein mine this. Come here. I used obsidian because of the blast. It probably doesn't have to be, but it just sounded safer. And if you're wondering why it's a little discolored beneath, I used chisel so I'd remember where to place them. Okay, so we come over here, and since I don't have an AE system yet, I wanted to find out how much I missed one when I've been using this Ender IO inventory panel hooked up to these drawers, and so far I really haven't. Yeah, I can't do any auto crafting, but I haven't really needed to because I have a tendency to just make things with the EMC a lot of the time. And if that's the case, it's not worth having uh, the auto crafting. Okay, so to make the draconic armor, draconic. Okay, it's a fairly involved process, and one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make uh, the uh, battle suit stuff first. So we're going to have to make these things: the battle suit plate. And to make that, we're going to need these. To make that, we're going to need these. Okay. No, I don't want that many of them. No, oh, it still made me 64. Oh, yeah, I see why. Oh, well, who cares? I got lots of that stuff. And... Whoops, what am I doing? Make the plate. We're also going to need some of this. Again, I don't want that much of it. Well, actually, I probably needed the whole set. Oh, well, we'll find out. Um, where are we here? We 
We also need this stuff. Need 32 of them. Okay, and... Oh, I haven't made these things yet. Okay. Thirty-two of them. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, something I know what I haven't done yet, and I really need to do it before I forget. Figures. I want them down in my bar here. Now, something that uh, Caleb Crafts told me when I uh, made these things, that there is a better way to get enchants on and off this armor. Let me show you. Um, in the options, under controls, for the Draconic Evolution, I've set the tool and armor config GUI to G. I think by default it's C. So I'm on my headpiece, I press G, and it comes up with this interface. Whoops. Inventory. And I can pull the enchants off of it. Come back. Back again, this one, inventory, and pull my enchants off of it again. Whoops. Go back, go back, inventory. So I'll do that for all four pieces of armor. Whoops. And I've got all my enchants back. Now, maybe if I made it with the enchants on, they'd stay on, but I wouldn't want to bet on that one. I doubt it. So instead, we'll try making it. Uh, did I make the plate yet? No, I didn't. Okay. So that. Make the plate. I think I got all the stuff for the plate now. 16. I need 32 of that. What am I missing? Did it just not want to make it all? Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't. I needed to make uh, 64 of the metal. That's what I did wrong. Yeah, not 32 of that, 64 of that. So now we need to make 32. And then I saw this uh, way of laying it out on purple mentats. It's actually quite nice if you don't have to put armor in each time, but uh, even this way it makes it a little easier. And I've tried different ways to combine the legs in, but it just doesn't work very well. Okay, so we got those done. Now, we're going to need these things. 
And oh, before we take a look at the armor, let's look at how many. We're going to need one there and one for each of those. So we're going to need a total of eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then next we're going to need uh, these things. And we're going to... We need seven of them. That works out. I don't know what uh, we just ran out of, but that's fine. And then... Okay. So we lay it out there. We put four of them there. Now I'll just drop them there. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then notice that I haven't made the battle suit all the way up, so just this far is enough. And that gets us our draconic armor. And now our staff of power. For that, we're going to have to make these things. And we should have everything we need there. Four of these. Actually, we only need three. final step is like that. So that goes there. And as you can see we used almost all the draconium there. Draconic staff of power. So let's take a look at some of this stuff and uh, what it can do. Actually, this isn't going to tell me anything, is it? Oh, vertical acceleration, effective while sprinting, and I can lock it on flight. Speed multiplier and a boost while sprinting. Night vision. Hill step, and gain a boost while sprinting, and a jump multiplier. Dig speed multiplier, which I can change. Uh, AOE, so uh, as a weapon it can uh, do multiple mobs at once. When I'm digging with the pickaxe, I can increase the size, like up to a 9x9. Nine nine. And dig depth, I can go 9. So I can do a complete 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine cube when I do it. Actually, did I? Let's get that back. And AOE attack. I can do a 25 by 25 area. Uh, let's put that up. 3 by 3, that'll do fine. And I can void junk as well, like get rid of cobble and stuff if I'm using it to mine. So it's my shovel, my pickaxe, and my uh, sword all in one. And a very powerful item. And look at the comparison on uh, damage as well. This thing does uh, 60 attack damage plus 30% of the mob health. 
the sword I was using before with sharpness 5 on it was doing 60 attack damage. So this is going to do way more damage, especially once I start putting the uh, enchants and stuff on it. Much better that way. Okay, that covers this stuff. Let's move on to hearts. Um, now, let me show you something before I get started on this. It's hiding in my book. One of these days I'm going to start passing in some of my quests. Warning, do not sh shift click craft these. You can lose a lot of hearts if you shift click. So do them one at a time to be on the safe side, especially if it's hearts that matter, like uh, yellows and greens and stuff. So canisters. Okay, so I have 15 yellow hearts. I need seven more f yellow canisters. And it takes two, to make a green canister, I need a yellow heart canister, and it takes a yellow to make the green. So I'm going to make four green hearts, and then do uh, the rest with, uh, hold on a sec, I have some apples in here that I never used on the dragon fight. Okay, so green hearts are... We'll put the stack in there, but for the hearts, we'll do them one at a time. One, just ate all the apples. Do not do it that way. <sighs> well, at least the apples are uh, easy to get. <sighs> okay. So, one apple. One yellow heart. Green heart. One yellow heart. One apple. Green heart. Yes, I know this takes a little while, but that's the only safe way to do it, right? Okay, so now with these 11, we're going to make uh, yellow heart canisters. So for that, I first off need about um, 11 red heart canisters, so I'm going to need 11 jeweled apples. One, two, three. Actually, I think I mean more jeweled apples for something else later on. Oh, well. Which problem? Okay. I'm just going to make 64 of these. I don't care. I got lots of that stuff. And I'm going to need some of these. Aluminum, I have lots of that. Oh, 10. 10. Oops. Okay. Oh yeah, we were making yellow hearts. I should have... Uh, hold on. Oh, no, we're making red hearts first. I don't know if I have to worry as much about this for shift clicking. Yeah, that one's working okay. So 
the red hearts, you don't have to worry about it. Now for our yellow heart canisters. Because it's yellow hearts involved, I'm not going to do the shift click this time. But I will put more of these in there and hope it doesn't eat them. It doesn't matter really if it does. I got so many red hearts. Yeah, that part's working out okay. It might only be with the green hearts that you have to worry about it. I don't know. Let's try two, just to see how we fare. Yeah, we got two of it. So, it's only with the green hearts that it flakes out. Okay. Green hearts. Yeah, we're going to need four jeweled apples, unless we want to use nether stars. But this sounds cheaper EMC wise. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Try that again. One, two, three, four. Whoops, doesn't matter. I'm going to put these in one at a time. Where to go? Oh, did I run out of jeweled uh, apples? Is that what's wrong? Okay, we need three jeweled apples. Or did it eat them all? Uh, I forget how it was. Actually, let's... Apples, one, two, three. It ate them all. Okay, don't. Yeah, everything's got to go in one at a time when we're. Oh, I need more jeweled apples. Yeah, don't shift click any part of uh, this one. Oh. I think I'd be remembering it by now. One goes there, one goes there. At least you're seeing from my mistakes what I meant by uh, not shift clicking and why it's important. Saves you banging your head against the wall after you do it. Okay, and then we pull up here, go to the armor slot. We can put four of those in, seven of those in. Now keep in mind, if you look down at my row of hearts there, there is only nine of them. It's going to be subtracting from all three sets of canisters. But as uh, it's going to continue to grow up a little bit at a time on the hearts. Well, that pretty much covers it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed what I did. Go out there and have some fun. Hope to see you next time. Thanks.